Right, so this is the stuck recliner seat in the RMS. You do this, you can hear a clunk. The seat does not move. You look under here, that's the motor right there. Now watch those cables when I press the switch. See? I think the motor is working. I think it's this screw mechanism that's stuck. Not that I know how to fix it, but... Where is it? All right, here, here it is. See those cables end there and move this screw mechanism. For some reason, it's not moving. Okay, so both cables are disconnected. Let's see if the motor spins. That sounds good. Yeah. All right, so one of these dumb things is either the adjusters are bound up here or whatever the hinging point is is bound up. There's a way to turn those by hand. Well, I disconnected this one first. It still didn't move. So let me reconnect this one and see if it'll just this one moves. Because I mean, if if something seized here, I can't imagine it's on both. Okay. Now let's see. Oh yeah, this side moves. Huh. Yeah, it's moving back and forth. All right, so something seized up on the other, of course, the one that's hard to get to. I bet you something spilled in there and rusted. I'm going to loosen both these sides up. This is where the seat pivots. Let's see if that has anything, any bearing on its functionality. All right, that'll be good enough. All right, so shit's got real. The seat is out of the stupid car, and um, gotten real. we are going to take this little gearbox off. Dave's working on the inboard bolt. Oh, and there it goes. Which is gone. <laughs> Hope so it goes, it. so it goes, so it goes, so it goes. Hmm. hmm. Well, that's gone forever. Wow, where, where the hell did it go? Where it oh, there it is. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need no sticking bolts. No, it's going to work anyway. I pulled these bolts out because... Oh, those are threads. Wow. Really super coarse, coarse like short threads. threads. Wicked shot. Oh, you got to take the uh, the other end of the cable off to get that, huh? No, so far, I can't hit the frame. Tom. Uh, yep. That's what we got to. Oh, and oh, so the so the rails have to come off. Well, apparently. <sighs> and then this thing's assembled. Uh, well, uh, yeah, riveted shut. <laughs> riveted shut. Well, what I'm hoping is that if we get this out, we can twist this thing and unjam it. Yeah. You know? Hard to turn? Yeah. Oh, look at the dry grease in there. So that's a plug. That looks like one's missing. And that's where the bolt was. Oh. Wow, that is extremely hard to turn. Hmm. 
Wow. Damn. No wonder the thing couldn't move. Yeah. Getting any easier or? No, really. How about now? Look at, look at the grease on the track. Oh, yeah, it's. Oh, well, we're gonna need some rags. This is gonna start to break. Yeah. Uh, it's turning much easier now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So the grease dried out and it just sort of... Just seized there. So what kind of grease did you use? Whatever that tub is. I think it's just wheel bearing grease. Disc brake wheel bearing grease. Oh yeah, all right. That's pretty standard stuff. All right, so this thing is back together. This thing is greased. It's screwed back in. Those uh, seat pivot bolts are back in. Let's see. Dodgy if... fucking. You're fucking. Yeah. Bullshit here. Uh, Let me work the switch. <laughs> Matt, maybe you could help him with that. It takes three people to do this. Are right, you ready? Sure. Oh, look at that. It's moving. Wow. Fancy. Let me see here. Yeah, look. This side's moving. That side's moving. It's probably difficult for it to do this when it's flipped on upside down, but... Yeah, look at that. I feel like me holding this is just for show, and I'm not actually helping going on. It's moving in and out. Yep. <laughs> it's a light drizzle out! <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. Wow! Look at that! It's moving! Very, very slowly, but it's moving. Look at that. Up, down. Moves at like the world's slowest pace. Let's see if it moves any faster than the car is running. Battery has been... Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Pretty good. No more uh, all the way reclined seat. Now I just gotta bolt it in, it's done. One more thing off the list. Look at that. So my guess with this seat is, somebody reclined it all the way back, where it hadn't been in years, and got onto the part of that rod that had all that dried grease and it's seized. So now that the thing is all cleaned up, works like new. Some fresh grease on both of those things. Good for another 25 years. <laughs>